Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm back in Atlantic City. I spent a night at the Borgata and it's the summertime and I was able to check out all the pools and I'm very excited to take you on the tour with me today. We're putting the finishing touches on the MGM Tower. In this video today, we're gonna see the MGM Towers indoor and outdoor pool. We're gonna see Borgata's family friendly indoor pool. And we're also gonna be seeing the Borgata's 21 and older beer garden pool. For more information about Borgata and all of Atlantic City, please check out my playlist at the end of this video. First, we're gonna check out Borgata's family friendly indoor pool. On this floor, you could also find the spa and the gym is over there on the right hand side, that big window. As the sign said, it's smoke free. You have to be 18 years old or with an adult. There is no bar or restaurant down here. It says no glass. So I'm assuming you could bring your own snacks, whether you know it's from your room or another restaurant on the property because there is no service here. This video was filmed on a Tuesday afternoon. It was about one o'clock and it's mid July. It really wasn't that busy during my visit. I really was surprised there were a ton of seats that were open. This right here, this is a nice little peaceful oasis. I had just expected that the outdoor pool was out here, but it wasn't. <laughs> There's just people out here laying out, catching some rays, doing yoga, playing some games, you know? It's just a nice little place to chill. To access the indoor pool in the garden, you need to be a registered hotel guest. You need a key that works, <laughs> that you checked in to use the elevator that will take you here. Here's a little spin around. This is your view when you get off the elevator. Now we're gonna take a little elevator ride down to the casino level and I'm gonna go try to find the outdoor pool that is located by the beer garden. I can't lie, I had a little trouble finding this place. I got a little lost. But I ended up asking somebody and ended up finding it. It's over by the sports book and the race book. You have to actually go outside. It feels kind of VIP, like you're going backstage to a concert or something. This is also where you would find the jitney that will take you over to the boardwalk. The outdoor pool is 21 and up. You're not allowed to bring coolers or your own beverages or your own food or your own chairs or any kind of like balls or anything that you would play with. No water guns are allowed or toys or Marco Polo. <laughs> this is really supposed to be just like a really relaxing oasis type of pool. Make sure if you come here that you bring your license. I'm clearly over 21. They still wanted to see my license. Also, they want to see your room key to make sure it's activated, that it's not a room key that you've had for years. <laughs> they check and if it goes green, you get a wristband and you get to go in. I was actually a little surprised that there was no extra admission. The only admission like that you would have to pay is if you wanted a day bed or a cabana. I've had some of my subscribers warn me about the Borgata saying that it's tough, you can't get seeds, you're not gonna like it, you know, all this stuff. But I don't know, the day I was there, it was great. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's Tuesday. Tuesday's a good day to go to the Borgata. It really wasn't that busy and it was a beautiful day too. Like all day clubs that have day beds and cabanas, they also had a large selection of free chairs as well. Here's a look at the cabana, which is more like a pavilion. I believe they were 350 to rent that day that I was there. You know, it depends on the day of the week. On the weekends, it's gonna be more. On holidays, it's gonna be more. July is gonna be more than September. Actually, I think this pool closes Labor Day. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's what they said. You see the Golden Nugget and Harrah's in the background. I have yet to see it myself, but there's a walkway that you can take to use to go visit those casinos as well if you have an extended stay at Borgata. I usually never leave. When I'm at the Borgata, it's usually like one night and I never go anywhere else because there's a lot to do here and it's a fabulous resort. It's one of my favorites in Atlantic City. Here's a little peek at the menu. Now we're gonna go over to the beer garden and go check that out. They had a little stage there with live music on the weekends. They had some indoor pavilion seating. So, you know, if you like that cabana thing, you could just go order some beers and some like lunch and like get that cabana thing without actually renting the cabana. But they had a big bar and they have servers that go around. The servers also go to the pool too. So there's a lot of choices here. I don't know. I think I just hit this on a great day. Now we're going to take a little stroll over to the MGM Tower, which was formerly the Water Club Tower, and check out the indoor and outdoor pool over there. Walking into the MGM Towers, it's a bunch of stores, very more expensive stores. It feels more like a spa. It has a different vibe, the MGM Towers. It's a little more expensive, a little more private. The Borgata is absolutely beautiful too, but the MGM Tower just takes it up the notch. It's definitely going to appeal to those of you that really want that extra 
VIP experience. Another great perk is if you're staying at Borgata, you can use the pools here. It hasn't always been like that. The water club, it was only the water club people. Now, if you stay at Borgata, you can use the pools there and vice versa. That is definitely a wonderful perk. And for that reason, because there is four pools and none of them have an additional charge to get into, unless you want to get a cabana or a day bed, and that's totally up to you. But as far as emission goes, there is no extra emission. And all of these pools are just stunning. So I have to say, I mean, if you have to ask me now, my favorite Atlantic City pool experience, I have to give it to Borgata and this MGM Tower because there is no emission. I mean, I was just at Caesars. They have one pool. You have to pay for a chair to go there for the day. Same thing with Harris awesome pool but you have to pay to go there. Harris does have a smaller indoor family friendly pool that's free though but the big one you have to pay it's like an extra admission to get in it's like $25 a person or something. It is very cool to see though. <laughs> I'm searching the web now and I can't seem to find this answer anywhere. Does anybody um, watching this know if children are allowed in this pool? People under 21 because like that could be a deal breaker that the, if there's no outdoor pools for you to bring your family to if you have a summer vacation and there's only the indoor pool then you might be better off going to ocean they have a gorgeous pool over there and it's on the ocean and the boardwalk that's one of the only problems over here at borgata is you're not on the boardwalk not that it's terrible it's beautiful on the bay but the boardwalk is really something to see and being on the ocean is fabulous too i have a video coming out very soon of my two night stay at ocean hope you're enjoying this video and finding it useful and helpful. If you are, if you hit that like button and the subscribe button and check out my other Atlantic City videos if you want to see more, I would greatly appreciate it. I love making these videos and sharing my experience and hearing from you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you take any of my advice or even if you don't agree with me. I never claim to be an expert in Borgata or Atlantic City or any of my videos at all. You know, I'm just doing the best to film what I see and how I feel and, you know, share my experiences. So feel free to, you know, chime in and let me know about your experience. It's always great to hear from you. Thank you guys so much who are subscribed and who, you know, continue to follow my journeys and support my channel. I really appreciate you. On deck, I have a lot more Atlantic City videos coming up and I'm gonna be taking a three week trip to Las Vegas. We're gonna be seeing more MGM, Caesars properties. I'm staying at a couple timeshares, including the Marriott's Grand Chateau. I'm super excited about that. Then when in fall and in early December, I'm gonna be coming back to Atlantic City. So, you know, if you wanna see more Atlantic City, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, enough about me. <laughs> What's your favorite pool? Which one did you like? Let me know in the comments below. Come join me as I go back to the indoor pool at the MGM Tower and just have a seat and just enjoy the ambiance. Here's a little look at the indoor pool at the MGM Tower. Has a little rinse off shower. Here's a little look into the bathroom. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> oh, the bathrooms in Atlantic City just blow me away. They're like Vegas bathrooms. Super fancy. I guess that's part of the inspiration for me making these videos is I absolutely love Atlantic City. And if you know, you ask 100 people, 50 people will probably say it's a dump. It's horrible. Don't go there. I think it's great. And I really want to show people how wonderful it can be. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. I hope you go to Atlantic City. Book that trip. Pack your bags and go. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Be well to yourself. Be kind to others. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.